Although difficult to observe from most locations today, when viewed from dark skies, the Milky Way is a glorious sight, a band of light cutting across the sky. In antiquity, people across the globe shared this view and invented creation stories to explain its presence. To Native American tribes, the Milky Way was a path cut across the sky by antelope in a great race. To the ancient Hindus, it was the celestial reflection of the sacred river Ganges. Once it was recognized that the Milky Way was actually the combined light of many distant stars, scientists began to construct models describing the 3D distribution of stars in our galaxy. William Herschel suggested a toy model consisting of slabs and rings of stars. From the outside, it doesn't seem to look like the Milky Way at all. Let's construct a 3D model of his drawing and fly into it. From this point of view, we see the solid band of stars resembling the structure of the Milky Way. Another fanciful model was suggested by Thomas Wright in 1750. In his model, stars are distributed on the surfaces of large spheres. Once again, let's turn his drawing into a 3D model and fly inside. Although the effect is not as dramatic as in Herschel's model, the nearby stars do indeed form a band on the sky. Stuck with only one perspective, our earthbound view, it was difficult to evaluate which of the many suggested models was correct. In the 1920s, Edwin Hubble determined that objects then known as the nebulae were actually distant galaxies. Suddenly, our universe got much, much bigger. The Milky Way was just one of billions of other galaxies. Now we had objects to compare our galaxy with. There are two main types of galaxies. Elliptical galaxies are collections of mostly older, redder stars. Spiral galaxies contain dust and gas and stars of various ages and colors. The Milky Way is clearly a spiral galaxy, but not all spiral galaxies are the same. Some have large central bulges, some small. Some have many arms, some few. Some have tightly wound arms, some arms are loose. Some have a bar at their center, others don't. What does our galaxy look like? It's not only our vantage point from inside our galaxy that makes uncovering the shape of the Milky Way so difficult. Dark dust clouds in the plane of the galaxy hamper our view. Observing in the infrared allows us to see through the dust and view our beautiful galaxy. This image is the result of the Galactic Mid-Plane Survey Extraordinaire. Nearly 800,000 individual images observed over four years by the Spitzer Space Telescope. In this image, we can peer across to the other side of the galaxy and map out its structure. The result is a model like this, 
We live in a barred spiral galaxy containing hundreds of billions of stars, which form two major arms and two minor arms, with the Sun in one of the minor arms and orbiting the galactic center every 250 million years. If we look closely enough, we can get clues not only to our galaxy's shape, but to its history as well. Mapping both the position and velocity of stars in the far reaches of our galaxy reveals streams of stars. These streams are the remains of dwarf galaxies ripped apart by the Milky Way's immense tidal forces. The Milky Way has devoured many such galaxies as it has assembled itself over billions of years. Tracing the remains allows us to piece together that history of our galaxy's formation. We live in an enormous galaxy, hundreds of billions of stars stretched over a hundred thousand light years. Because we are stuck on Earth, it has been difficult to get the perspective needed to divine its structure. Yet, with careful observation and clever insight, we are well on the way to understanding not only what our galaxy looks like, but also how it got to be that way. <laughs>